This app is going to show four Swift UI views inside a tab bar. One to show everyone you've met, one to show people you've contacted, one to show people you haven't contacted yet, and a final one showing your personal information for others to scan. Now those first three views are really as variations on the same concept, but the last one is quite different. As a result, we can represent our UI with just three views, one to display people, one to show our data, and one to bring the others together using a tab view. So our first step would make placeholder views for our tabs that we can come back to and fill in later on. So press Command N on your keyboard now to make a new Swift UI view and call this thing Prospects View, like that. Then press Create. Then repeat it again, Command N, make another Swift UI view and call this one Me View. You can leave both these empty with a default hello world text for now, it doesn't matter. For now, what does matter is content view over here. This is where we're gonna store our tab view that contains all the other views in our UI. We're gonna add some more logic here shortly, but for now, this is just gonna be a tab view with three instances of prospect view and one me view. Each of these will have a tab item modifier with an image I've picked out from SF symbols plus some text. So go ahead and replace the body of your content view with this, there's a tab view. Inside there is a prospect view with a tab item. And it'll say label everyone with system image being person.3. I'll copy and paste that twice more. So we have prospect view here, and then we'll say contacted. This one here will be a check mark dot circle. Got that id with an ed on the end, there we go. And then uncontacted for the third one, this is gonna be, let's say, a question mark dot diamond. And then after those three prospect views, we're gonna add a me view with a tab item saying label uh, me. System image will be person dot crop dot square. Now, if you press command R to run the app now, you'll see this neat tab bar across the bottom allow us to tap through each of our four views. Now, obviously, making three of these instances of prospects view will be weird in practice because it's gonna be identical. But we can fix that by customizing each view. Remember, we want this first one here to show every person you've met. The second one to show people you've contacted so far, and the third to show people you haven't contacted. And so we can represent all that with an enum plus a property on our prospects view. So inside prospects view, we're gonna add an enum here. Nested inside here, we'll say enum filter type has a case of none, contacted, and uncontacted. Now we can use that to allow each instance of our prospects view to be slightly different by giving it a new property here. We'll say, let filter be a filter type. This will immediately break our content view and this view's preview, so you've got to provide a value for that property when making a prospect view. But first, let's use it to customize each of the three views just a little bit by giving them a navigation title. So we'll add a property here that's computed. We'll say, var title is a string. We'll switch on our current filter. If we're in none mode, our title is everyone. If we're in contacted, it'll be contacted people. Otherwise, uncontacted people, like so. Now we can replace our default hello world body with this. Navigation stack, text hello world. But then add that navigation title like so, so at least it means every one of our prospect view instances looks slightly different. So we can be sure the tabs are actually working correctly. Now to make sure our code actually compiles again, every prospect view initializer has to be called with a filter in place. And so we can change the preview code down here to say our filter is none. Then we can change the three prospect view instances in content view so they have various different values. For example, this one here, we can say our filter is none. Uh, dot none, sorry. And the second one, filter dot contacted. And the third one will be filter 
dot uncontacted like that. If you're on the app now, you'll see the whole thing is looking better. Everyone's up here. Hey doggo. Uh, we have contacted and we have uncontacted. And again, these are the same view behind the scenes. The same thing. Uh, each one's a prospect's view. But with that varying filter being passed in, we can now identify each one uniquely and show it differently. Now, let's bring in some data.